Hey guys and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In today's video I'll show you guys a way to reduce the size of your PyInstaller EXEs using a well-known EXE compressor called UPX. Now UPX is an EXE packer basically and you can use it to easily you know reduce the size of your EXE not by much it's not very drastic but it provides a small boost about 20% and this depends a bit on your application as well, what libraries you're using, and yeah. But in today's video, we should observe around a 20% boost. Okay, so here's a basic application that I have here. It's nothing very fancy, just some, you know, libraries like Takinter, Matplotlib, Pandas, etc., etc. Okay, and now I have PyInstaller, okay, wait, sorry. I have autopy 2 xz over here that we're gonna use. And don't worry, this, this is the same thing as PyInstaller. For those of you who don't know, the PyInstaller command is right here. autopy 2 xz is just a GUI interface that I use. It's a library in Python. Very easy, you know, to use PyInstaller through it. As you can see here, we have the PyInstaller command and selecting the options here, here changes the command. Okay, so we'll use this in today's video. But of course, you can follow along with PyInstaller as well. There's no issue. So I'm going to open up Chrome first and UPX EXE Packer. Okay, and just come over here and just download the latest one. There's no real issue, I think. So I already have it downloaded, so I'm not really going to do that. Okay, I already have it over here. As you can see, we just need basically to link this EXE, this UPX EXE to our PyInstaller uh, command that we type into the command prompt over here. Okay, now one thing I'll show you is that I've already compiled this beforehand, the one without UPX, and it's 110 MB. Okay, so let's observe in today's video just how much of uh, improvement we can get. All right, now let's begin. I already have autopy 2 xz open here. I'm gonna browse over. Okay, it's opened over here, wrong place. And let me just navigate over here to my graphing app. And then, okay, we have one file selected, a window based to hide the console. Let me just make this a bit bigger. Okay, so you can see the command here nicely. Okay, now what we need to do is over here, this advanced over here, okay, there's this UPX dir setting that we're gonna go into. And where did I put it? It's in the dependencies folder. And here we go. Okay, just select this folder and click select folder. Okay, and now it's here. Now let's just take a look at the PyInstaller command. For those of you using PyInstaller, you need to use this dash dash upx dir. Okay, those of you who are using PyInstaller in the command line, I mean, okay, because we're both using PyInstaller. So yeah, write the command over here, then a space. And then in quotes, write the file path of your UPX file, of your UPX folder. Okay. Now I think we're done here. This should be it. Okay. I'm going to hit the button now and yeah, overwrite it, overwrite the old one. Now I'm just going to pause the video over here and resume it once this is complete. Okay. All right. So here we are and the compilation is over and actually we got this down to 81 MB. That was better than I thought. That's like, what, 30% almost? So yeah, pretty good. Not bad, actually. And let's just run this just to be sure that everything is okay. And PyInstaller takes a little time to load. And... Okay, it's just taking a bit longer than usual. Yeah, okay. So here we are. Now, one thing I will mention that I've seen reports, and I, I think at least that I've personally experienced this, that UPX can delay your PyInstaller load time by about a second, uh, just a bit. So it's, I guess you could say that it's a bit of a space and time trade-off. So it's reducing the space, but it's making about an extra second in the load time. So that's something to keep in mind. It may or may not be true, depending on your use case. So do test it out, test out your application, test the load time before UPX and after adding UPX. And if the load time is a very big deal, 
you may want to consider not using UPX, but if the space is a bigger deal, then you should consider, you know, using UPX. There are other ways of getting the load time down, however, so you can take a look at that. I'll, uh, well, one very obvious thing that you can do is use one dir instead of using one file, because one file is like the whole exe is packed into one thing, so it needs to unpack itself first. Long story behind that. But I'll leave a link down in the description below to a video on how to optimize PyInstaller. Okay, it's speed, speed, and etc. etc. So if you're interested, go watch that. Okay, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys found today's lesson useful. See you guys in the next one.